How to prepare the four financial statements in Excel using pivot tables? In no other video tutorial on YouTube, you will find the correct answer for this question. To finish with this, today we will show you an Excel accounting system that will allow you to present the four financial statements of a small and medium company SMEs using the pivot table of Excel. Observe the summary of all your income, costs, and expenses incurred during a specific period through the profit and loss statement. Consult at all times the economic and financial situation of your company with the statement of financial position. Understand how a company's operations are running, where its money coming from, and how money is being spent with the cash flow statement. Verify the level of retained earnings and the other equity accounts with the statement of changes in equity. You will also have a statement or report of break-even point. Keep track of your company's management. Every month, through the charts of management. Control the budget of each month and each sub-account. Track the 30 most important financial ratios of each month. Do you need to make your four financial statements in a pivot table? Do you need keep track of fixed and variable cost of the management, budget, and financial ratios of your company? Follow the next four parts and discover how. Set up the chart of accounts for your company or organization enable macros write the name of your organization designate the name of the revenues costs expenses assets liabilities and equity write the name of the general accounts Remember, that each name is unique, and, cannot be repeated. Write the name of the sub-accounts, and, indicate to which general account, they belong. Remember that, each sub-account name, must be unique, and, not repeated. In additional configuration number 2, we define, in which month, our economic cycle begins, and, ends. We can define if we want a partial, or, cumulative approach. By default the approach of this system, is cumulative. To start we will define, the income, fixed costs, variable costs, and even mixed costs. Go up and open the hidden cells. We click on the plus sign that is in the headers. And using the drop down lists, we begin to define each sub account as an income fixed cost, variable cost, mixed cost, or, leave blank, and undefined, if, this classification does not apply to the sub-account. Now, we go down, and, in the section that says, additional configuration no 4, we write the terms, or, name, that we will use to define the different titles, of the cash flow statement. Above, in this sheet, we begin the process of assigning the corresponding title to each sub-account. Beginning, with the sub-accounts belonging to the cash and cash equivalents account. To these sub-accounts, 
we will assign the title, cash, and cash equivalents to beginning of the exercise, followed by the plus sign. However, this is an exception. For the rest of the assets, the sign that accompanies each assigned title, will be the minus sign. To perform this task correctly, we must consider, the following. For all asset, sub accounts, we will assign a title, accompanied by the minus sign. For all the sub accounts of liabilities, we will assign a title accompanied by the plus sign. For the accounts of costs, and, expenses, the assigned title will be accompanied, by the minus sign. Finally, for the sub accounts of income, the assigned title, must be accompanied by the plus sign. The most important thing is, to place the plus, and, minus signs, as appropriate. Minus sign for assets, costs, and, expenses. Except, for the sub accounts that belong to cash and equivalent cash. Only these asset sub accounts, will be accompanied, by the plus sign. Plus sign, for all liabilities, and, income accounts. Without any exception. This system, has 12 pages, of journal entries book, each sheet of journal entries book, corresponds to, one month, of the fiscal year. In the journal entry, number 1, of the first month, we will, place the trial balance, at the close of the previous year, or, last fiscal year, with, each of the sub accounts, of the lowest, and, most specific disaggregation levels. From, the journal entry number 2, we will begin, to record the economic transactions, of the current fiscal year. From this moment, we can generate, the four financial statements, of our small and medium enterprise using pivot tables Let us begin. We go, to the sheet designated with, the number 1. Inside a black circle. We click on, cell, D5. In the insert tab. We select pivot table. In. Select a table or range section. Delete the shaded text, and write, S, underscore, 1. S underscore 2, for financial position statement. S underscore 3, for cash flows statement. S underscore 4, for statement of change in equity. And, S underscore 5, for break even point report. Thank you for watching this video, leave us your comments, visit us on Facebook, and give us a like.